This is one of my very favorite games. It's the error game. And essentially in the error game, first and foremost, your language class has to have an atmosphere of people being willing to take risks. I think it can be really difficult for people just starting to learn a language to get around their head around the idea that more errors doesn't necessarily mean worse. It's just, you know, natural on the road to fluency, isn't it? Um, you, you can't, you'll, you'll never speak well. It's research based, right? We all go through the same stages. So um, you have to have enough time in learning a language to know that, you know, the errors are a sign of progress. And interestingly, I think we make the same types of errors in different languages. You know, we, we, we kind of master the same points of grammar at the same time. Um, but I think that's another video. Uh, so with the error game, basically your students should have done it long enough to feel comfortable with it, but not, um, and willing to make errors. So that's really the, the thing. So this, I wouldn't recommend for sort of first year class or even a second year class, but you, you know, your students, so you'll know what they'll do. So essentially when they come up with something, you know, if they are, if they've written, I don't know, a paragraph, an essay, a letter, whatever it is, or they've done a speaking activity, you write down a bunch of the errors. And again, it's important to have that atmosphere of, of trust and comfort and risk taking, because this isn't about making anybody feel bad. It's about, wait a minute, what's wrong with X? What's wrong with this thing that they did? So you essentially give them the error. They usually can guess who it is and they have to think about it. They have to rewrite it correctly and then they get a point if they got it or not. Um, so what's great about it, I think, is that the grammar is completely in context and you've sort of gamified talking about the errors. So it's really quite useful. I really enjoy it. Another version of this, if you want to not focus on errors would be um, sort of take the same things and say, you know, guess, answer, total. So if you've got questions that you want them to answer, they can guess, right? And then obviously write the right answer and then the totals would be here. Um, I think this is a fun game for some of the, the tough stuff. Um, and I hope that your students really uh, enjoy it. Um, if you want access to the templates and, and games, et cetera, and my book, I'm going to, this is all going to be linked in the description below. And, um, I hope that you find this helpful and high interest for your students.